From the ages bygone to the current day, food grains have been the staple diet of the human race in the Indian subcontinent. They have been experimenting, innovating and have successfully developed a lot of varieties of food derivatives. From the sugar which sweetens our cups of tea, coffee, chocolates and cakes to the amazing power of fast food products from popcorn to corn flour to pizzas, burgers and junk food. In this whole gamut, we have forgotten the age-old benefits of potential grains, that is, the millets, and its benefits to the human world at large. There are many varieties of millets, but the five major types are pearl, which comprises 40% of the world production, foxtail, proso, little and finger millet. Pearl millet produces the largest seeds and is the variety most commonly used for human consumption. Millets contain high soluble dietary fiber which helps in lowering cholesterol. Magnesium has been helpful in reducing the severity of asthma, frequency of migraine attacks and gallstones. The phosphorus provided by millets plays an important role in the structure of every cell in the body, forms the mineral matrix of the bone and is a major component of the molecule which is the energy center of the body. It helps in lowering type 2 diabetes risk. It has offered significant protection against breast cancer among premenopausal women, cardiovascular benefits for postmenopausal women and prevents heart failure with a sustained diet of whole grains breakfast. Research results so far are promising, showing the grain to have a great aptitude and versatility and more and more uses for millets are being discovered every year. Millet is superior feed for poultry, swine, fish and livestock and it is being proven for humans as well. It can be proved that today Due to constant stress, busy lifestyles, hectic travel schedules, quality of general life has deteriorated. The medications prescribed are expensive, associated with a lot of side effects and beyond the reach of the common man. The millets can be seen as the wonder food substitute to several drugs and medications. There is a place on the world map a small town known for its educational centers and is known as the hub of learning. Dharwad in North Karnataka nurtures a place of research, learning and development, the renowned University of Agricultural Sciences Dharwad. The university, under the astute leadership of Dr. R. R. Hanchina, Vice Chancellor, has set up a research laboratory in the College of Rural Home Science, Department of Food Science and Nutrition, ably guided by Dr. Rama K. Naik along with her team of eminent scientists. They are currently developing a system to create a remunerative market for foxtail and little millet grains through establishing a primary processing center, build up of supply chain, consumer awareness and preference to access and enhance the nutraceutical value of foxtail and little millet through appropriate processing methods and value-added products for health and nutritional benefits. The National Agricultural Innovation Project approved a research program on millets by the World Bank delegated to the Indian Council of Agricultural Research, New Delhi. Hence, a consortium came into being with Prabhakar Kore Medical Research Center, Belgaum, Bef Dharwad and the manufacturers of Chandana food products, Gadag. The University of Agricultural Science, Dharwad has been in the forefront of research on millets and its nutraceutical benefits. They have been conducting research on this crop since 1986. The findings have been very interesting and throw a lot of light on the benefits of this crop. Whole grains are important traditional staple food in India with a wide area of cultivation and productivity ranges. 
Owing to performance characteristics, many new varieties have been developed. There are many indigenous land races with promising functional and probable therapeutic values. Millet is one of the oldest foods known to humans. It is mentioned in the Bible and was useful during those times to make bread. Millet has been used in Africa and India as a staple food for thousands of years and it was grown as early as 2700 BC in China where it was a prevalent grain before rice became the dominant staple. It is documented that the plant was also grown by the lake dwellers of Switzerland during the Stone Age. Millets grow in harsh environments where other crops grow or yield poorly. They are grown with limited water resources by a multitude of small farmers in many countries, usually without the application of fertilizers or other inputs. Consumed by disadvantaged groups, they are often referred to as coarse grains or poor man's crops. The University of Agriculture Sciences Darwad in its consortium mode with Baif Darwad, Medical Research Center Belgam and Chandana Food Products Gadag have been making concerted effort to bring back the potential grains to one's life. The millets, basically the foxtail and little millet, has been our target. Baif has been responsible for motivating the farmers for covering the larger acreage of the land for cultivation by creating the seed bank. To exploit the nutritional and therapeutic benefits of millets, functional health foods were designed and fabricated such as diabetic mix, diabetic kakra, high energy and protein supplementary products for growing active children and sports persons to help in enhancing physical endurance and performance. This is very essential to revive the potential grains that is the millets. From the farm gate to the consumer plate concept was established to add value at every stage of the process. Using ICT, the millet consumption has been popularized through millet mailers, krishi mailers, through radio talk shows, quiz programs. They also aired a 17 episode radio show, Annapurna, which has been a great success. Popularization through folk arts also has been very much appreciated. They have also released a lot of books and publications to popularize millets. These activities are shared between the consortium partners, Bev Dharwa, to motivate the rural farmers, most of whom reside in the villages. The fabricated functional foods, especially the diabetic food, has been given to the Diabetes Research Center Belgaum. Under the leadership of Dr. M. V. Jali, Diabetic mix has proven its efficacy to reduce 14 to 18 percent sugar and 10 to 12, 15 percent triglycerides and cholesterol. The proven products have been further directed to Chandana Food Products for commercialization. They have been responsible for bulk production, packaging and labeling and they have already marketed in 20 cities and 60 outlets of Karnataka. Our efforts have been synergistic with the other groups who are working with the millets and we have been suitably rewarded by the state government and the national government for concerted effort by the university team. The University of Agricultural Sciences was established way back in the year 1986 and has been one of the best among state agricultural universities. The Indian Council of Agriculture Research recognized the contributions and achievements for being the best university by conferring the prestigious Sardar Patel Award in the year 2002. Millet is a tall, erect annual grass with an appearance strikingly similar to maize. The plants will vary somewhat in appearance and size depending on variety and can grow anywhere from 1 foot to 15 feet tall. Generally, the plants have coarse stems growing in dense clumps and the leaves are grass-like, numerous and slender, measuring about an inch wide and up to more than six feet long. The seeds are enclosed in colorful hulls with color depending on variety and the seed heads themselves are held above the grassy plant on a spike-like panicle six to 14 inches long and are extremely attractive. 
Because of a remarkably hard, indigestible hull, this grain must be hulled before it can be used for human consumption. Hulling does not affect the nutrient value as the grain stays intact through this process. Once out of the hull, millet grains look like tiny yellow spheres with a dot on one side where it was attached to the stem. Millet is unique due to its short growing season. It can develop from a planted seed to a mature, ready to harvest plant in as little as 65 days. This is an important consideration for areas where food is needed for many. Millet grows well on poorly fertilized and dry soils and fits well in hot climates with short rainfall periods and cool climates with brief warm summers. The plants need good drainage, have a low moisture requirement and do not do well in waterlogged soils. KLES Medical Research Center, Belga, has been the project partner for this program. They are conducting tests on human volunteers and analyzing the developed foods for their effects and remedies on the target population in controlling non-communicable diseases and enhancing the nutraceutical benefits to the consumers. The University of Agricultural Sciences of Darwad and the Kaley Medical Research Center, the Diabetes Division, uh, collaborated to make a, a study on the food grains. These small food grains, uh, usually called millets, were studied um, by the products which were grown by them and they were fortified and they were challenged on the normal subjects as well as also in diabetic and uh, lipid problem those who had. And in this we made a, a remarkable uh, survey wherein it showed a very good improvement in diabetic uh, glycemic control and also in the management of the lipid profile which made a, a good uh, improvement in those who had a high cholesterol and triglyceride levels too. In this we can able to make this uh, small millet that is the little millet and the fox millet gave a very good coverage because of their uh, high content of the fiber diet they gave a good result in the glycemic profile and also they within the shortest period as compared to the the other group where they were on medication without this uh, added uh, diet system so with this we can able to conclude that the high fiber diet content will definitely make a contribution in the control or the management of diabetes as well as the lipid disorders in the uh, subjects who have this problem Millets are not generally traded in the international markets or even in local markets in many countries. So small farmers seldom have an assured market in the event of surplus production. Today, millet ranks as the sixth most important grain in the world, sustains one third of the world's population and is a significant part of the diet in northern China, Japan, Manchuria, Africa, India and Egypt. Millet is tasty with a mildly sweet, nut-like flavor and contains a myriad of beneficial nutrients. It is nearly 10% protein, contains high amounts of fiber, 8 to 12%, B-complex vitamins, including niacin, thiamine, and riboflavin, the essential amino acid methionine, and vitamin E. It is particularly high in the minerals iron, magnesium, phosphorus, and potassium. The seeds are also rich in phytochemicals including phytic acid, polyphenols, tannins which are known to lower cholesterol and phytate which is associated with reduced cancer risk. Since many of them are bland, they blend well with other ingredients to give it a lip-smacking taste. The grain mixes well with any seasoning or herbs that are commonly used in rice preparations and for interesting taste and texture variations, it may be combined with quinoa and brown or basmati rice. Millet may also be sprouted for use in salads and sandwiches.
flour produces light, dry, delicate baked goods and a crust that is thin and buttery smooth. For yeast breads, up to 30% millet flour may be utilized, but it must be combined with glutinous flours to enable the bread to rise. For a delightful crunch in baked goods, the millet seeds may be added whole and raw before baking. Properly stored whole millet can be kept safely for up to two years. The grain should be stored in tightly closed containers, preferably glass, in a cool dry place or in a refrigerator. The Indian food basket contains, in addition to major food crops, several nutritionally important millets like foxtail, barnyard, proso and pearl millets. These crops being eco-friendly are suitable for fragile and vulnerable agro-ecosystems and preferred for sustainable agriculture as there is a vast untapped productivity potential in these crops. The promotion of these crops can lead to efficient natural resource management and ultimately to a holistic approach in sustaining agro-biodiversity. In order to enhance market demand for these products, greater attention is to be given to diversified utilization aspects and development of value-added products. In short, this whole program intends to provide skill-based training to SHGs, youth and farmers in-depth technology transfer to established food entrepreneurs, sensitizing the stakeholders, farmers and governmental agencies. The general consensus is to promote the health benefits to diabetics, sports persons and consumers in general and last but not the least, promote the nutraceutical value-added whole grain products. We proudly confer the title, The Mighty Millets, and will see to it that they attain a position as the grains of the future.